Hi, everyone. Um, this is my new office, by the way. Um, I use uh, my studio sometimes and I use this outdoor area. Say hi and hope you're adjusting to uh, working. Hey, Adrian, welcome back to Australia. Great work on that Thailand ride. Um, so what I thought I'd do is just um, let you know there are two trends that are becoming very clear. Um, in the last 48 hours, I've been very close to real estate agents. I'm having around 30 to 40 conversations a day with real estate agents, staying very close to my customer, um, like you should be, staying very close to your customer. And one of the things that's coming out of the conversation is that there appears to be a rush of vendors trying to cash out. Thank you, Sarah. I love my new office, by the way. I love it, particularly when the sun's coming down. So what we're seeing, and by the way, everyone, tomorrow morning at, um, I believe, 10 o'clock, um, Sarah, you might want to confirm that to me in the comment section here. It is 10 o'clock or it could be 11 o'clock. We have got a webinar called... Um, uh, pro super effective prospecting. Uh, I think that's the title. But really, what we're going to be covering is how to prospect from home, who to call, you know, what to say, um, and pretty much making the adjustment um, from working in an office to working at home and how you can still be super effective. In fact, I will go off and say is I believe at the end of the coronavirus, you will probably be saying to yourself, this is my new norm. You will find that this disruption that's taken place, which has been quite interesting because ultimately it wasn't technology that disrupted real estate, it was a virus. But what will actually happen is that real estate agents are going to learn that through being forced to, there are better ways to do things. There are better ways to work. And I've always said that if you can learn. So thank you, Sarah. It's 10 a.m. Queensland time, 9 a.m. Sydney time. So what I can say to you is that people are beginning to realize that they can actually be far more effective working from home than they can be at the office. You see, when you're at the office, you'll end up finding that you've got this addiction to distraction with interruptions from people. You'll find that you've got a lot of more coffee talk you go out to cafes, you get into chit chat. And what I find that people tell me is when they learn the art of working super effective from home, that they can get so much work done. So that's one of the things that is going to come out of it. But I re so we're going to cover that tomorrow. We're going to cover that at our webinar, 9am uh, Sydney, uh, sorry, 10am Sydney time, 9am Queensland time. Correct? Yes, that's correct. It works that way. It's an hour behind. Sorry, 11 a.m. Sydney time. Sorry, let's confirm that. It's 11 a.m. Sydney time. It's 10 a.m. Brisbane time. So 11 a.m. for most people here across Australia and New Zealand. For those in New Zealand, it will be one o'clock. So what are the two trends? There are people that are racing to get properties on the market. I'm going to repeat that. Vendors are scrambling to get properties on the market. They have fear. They're fearing that they're going to get more money now than more money later. So there's a little bit of panic selling. A little bit of the stock market fear is entering some of the vendors. They want to cash out. So what you're going to see is a rush of property hitting the market. Um, the other trend that I am seeing is that properties are still selling. And I can't get over the amount of real estate agents today that have told me that they've sold significant amounts of properties in the last two to three days. Double Bay Auction Room last night was super strong. Um, uh, I've got, you know, Peter Chuancy, I think, sold three properties in the last 40 hours. There is transactions being done. And the reason why, and those of you that are in the real estate gym would have seen the webinar I did with Matt Steinway this morning, there is a buyer that is called the hardcore buyer. And the hardcore buyer at the moment is still looking. Do you understand these hardcore buyers traditionally are people that have sold a property, right? So they've probably sold in December, January, or February. They are looking to buy. They're keen. Coronavirus and uncertainty does not hit their radar screen. They need to buy a house. And what I don't want you to do is to talk yourself out 
of a situation that you think that there aren't hardcore buyers out there, right? So that's the first buyer that's out there. It's the hardcore buyer. And what do you do with this person? You stick to them like a stamp sits on an envelope. It just doesn't let go. So what you've got to do in this marketplace is identify hardcore buyers and you work with these buyers, right? The next buyer that appears to be popping up is called the opportunistic buyer. The opportunistic buyer pops up because they believe that they have a higher chance to have an offer get accepted by a vendor when there's a little fear in the marketplace. You see, they can see past the speed bumps. They can see past the turbulence. They know it's turbulent now, but they know that as the plane keeps going, the shaking's going to stop. And at some point, it's going to move back to smooth sailing. And opportunistic people have actually always made money when there's blood in the streets. So what they do is they pop up. So I'm saying to you, in your work, you will notice that you're going to have vendors who are rushing to the market to sell, and they're going to be easy to get offers accepted because they are themselves panicking, right? So you're not going to have much difficulty getting putting a deal together with them. The second person you're going to be rushing across is what I call the hardcore buyer, you should all try and have a list of hardcore buyers and you talk to them on a daily basis. And then you've got your third buyer, which is the opportunistic buyer. They're the kind of people that you're meeting in this current marketplace. I also encourage you all, why don't you go off to Officeworks tomorrow, spend a few hundred bucks and get yourself the ideal things to give you a good home setup office. Here are some of the examples of the things that I'd be doing. If you haven't got a Zoom account set up, I would actually set one up. Zoom is going to be a way, but it's a, it's a way, I believe I was one of the first Zoom customers in Australia. I think Susan and I were used as guinea pigs many years ago, right? But what I suggest you do is set up a Zoom account. It's going to allow you to have video meetings. You can record these meetings. You can actually go through reports with a client in these video meetings and they don't need to download anything. They click on the link. You can do it on your mobile phone or do it on a laptop. Zoom is one thing you need to buy in this new world of operating from home and using video as a communication tool. The second thing I think you need to do is go to Officeworks and get yourself some basic essentials like maybe a laptop elevator, right, that pushes your laptop up at a higher thing. Maybe just buy some stationary items that just makes, you know, the area that you've allocated in your house to become really kind of comfortable for you. I've always said you need to have three offices, one at work, one in your car, and one at home. Well, it appears now you're going to turn your, your, your home into your major office. Hi, Taney. Anyway, so guys and girls, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to make sure that whenever there's information on hand, I'm going to be giving it to you. I am looking forward to uh, speaking to you uh, tomorrow. What's going on, real estate gym members? Let me tell you, we've got tomorrow. Who have we got tomorrow? We've got uh, Sarah Bell tomorrow. We've got um, John McGrath on Tuesday. We've got Rick Rushton with successful scripts on Friday. What you've noticed is that I'm elevating my contact. I'm elevating my training and I'm making it market specific. And in addition to that, if anyone wants to book me in for, I'm doing three courses. One of them is called a fanatical prospecting course. It goes for 90 minutes. It's held at your office. And what it's done, it is delivered to you. You'll sit there at your office in front of a plasma screen or in front of a, uh, a, um, a computer. And I deliver it. It's a virtual conference. And that one is on prospecting. I'm giving you what to say, who to say it to, when to say it. I go through the mistakes people have with prospecting and I touch on some of the great tools that are available out there to help you become a fanatical prospector. I think most people don't know what to say and who to call. So there's that one. There's another 90-minute one called the Irresistible Listing Presentation. And then there is another one called the Scripts and Dialogues During a Coronavirus Period. And I give you the scripts, dialogues and templates 
that help you speak to people that are buyers, speak to people that are sellers, and speak to people on your database. And I actually give you the dialogue and language. It's called scripts and dialogues during coronavirus period. So if you want to book any of those three, thank you, Sarah. And I'll be talking about Rita in my prospecting sessions. So if you want to book on any of those, you send an email to info at tompanos.com.au and you'll sit there at your office. I'll be coming to you like now. We'll be able to interact that's the thing. You'll be speaking to me. I'll be speaking to you. And um, they're very affordable. Email us and we'll give you a quote. Info at tompanos.com.au. And by the way, Mickey Demian, follow this guy on his Facebook. He looks like he's nailing Facebook digital social. I love his approach. Thank you so much, guys, signing off.